Hey, you Halloween haunters. Uh, thought I'd post up a quick video. Uh, another very satisfied customer. I got uh, Straub's uh, four channel um, prop controller in. Of course, this is the bear board. I ordered up three of them, but uh, just got one put together and extremely happy with it. Got the board in in about a week to, of time, so he turned it around. And as well as I got all my assorted items, they came in, so laid them all out and did the assembly of the first one. And it uh, took a little while because I hadn't soldered in probably 20 years, but uh, put it together. It took my time with it. It took me about an hour and a half. Uh, I know the other two should probably go much easier, but uh, I hooked it up over here with my power supply. I've got some big lot speakers and inexpensive speakers that actually work pretty well. I wasn't sure how well they would do. I got the uh, MP3 board. You can see that's on there. It's sticking up. And uh, it also, too, the, the whole thing is, is really easy and really well designed, I think. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the SD card, it has uh, two audio tracks that are on it. It has uh, the one file named 001.mp3. That's the ambient background sound. And then the other one is 002.mp3, and that's going to be the scare track. Um, I already uh, had programmed it, so programming is very straightforward. So just as he showed in his video... You just hold down the record button, the uh, yellow LED will go on, and then you just kind of basically set, hit the different buttons for the inputs in terms of how you want the relays to react and uh, uh, the sequence to play out. And of course, the uh, scare track will initiate. Let me get it plugged in over here. Get it connected. So there you go. So powered up, goes right into the, to the background ambient song. This is just something I lifted online, so I quickly threw it on an SD card because I was anxious to test it. And then I just plugged in a Try Me button for input since I don't have my PIRs yet. So you can use, obviously, PIR or infrared beam or manually do it. And, of course, uh, once the input's been triggered, it'll initiate the, sc the scare track and as well as go through the sequence. And you can see there it is, activating the relays. And then it goes right back to the ambient track. So it works out really well. So if you've got any experience or even moderate skills with soldering and, and uh, some electronic background, this is a nice little uh, build that you could easily do. Uh, of course, it helps, though. You should have uh, some exposure to it because you're going to come in with bags of this stuff. I had bought enough actually to build four of them. So uh, I guess Strog, I'll be getting another order into you. But certainly... Uh, bags of resistors, um, capacitors, and uh, the switches, and LEDs, and things of that nature. So it's not that extensive. It's not that big of a deal. It just takes a little while to be careful with it. Because certainly, too, you know, you don't want to... Uh, uh, you've got some close uh, soldering here for some of the, the uh, connections, certainly for the chips and uh, for the MP3 board. So some of that stuff, you're going to have to be very careful. Have a fine tip soldering iron. Uh, that would be the ticket and also some um, some very fine solder. Uh, other than that, take your time. It's very straightforward and it's pretty easy to turn this and all this into this. So can't wait to get the other two done and uh, get these things connected to some props. Um, certainly feel free to reach out if you've got any questions. And again, it was really straightforward. I'd say if you're thinking about getting them, get them ordered and use them this year. Uh, good luck and have fun.